Okay, so now um, the photographer, the cameraman, is going to be um, asking questions or something. So I don't know the name of the game yet, but okay, go ahead. his blackberry yes I do did you pick it off a tree I don't know how to respond to that it was a technological tree a technological tree where do you find those kind of trees <laughs> huh where do you find those kind of trees where do you find those kind of trees? Huh? Where's my baby bear? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, so Connie, we're going to act out different scenes today. We want to be able to see... Okay, so we're pretending that we're interviewing for a position on a network. And we want to see all the different characters Connie can be. So I'm going to start out. And I'm going to give you a choice of three things you can choose from. And you have three minutes to act it out. No, we'll actually make it 60 seconds because it's even harder to do just for 60 seconds. It's my baby bear. Pay attention, Connie. Serious. It's my baby bear. All right. So, did you get understand that? Do you understand, Connie? Understand what? So, you're gonna act out different roles that I tell you. We want to be able to see the range of personalities you can do as a talented young actress. Can you handle that? I sure can. All right. So, your first one is going to be an anchor woman. You have 60 seconds to be able to act as an anchor woman and we're going to pretend that you're interviewing Guy Ritchie. So, Guy Ritchie, can you tell me the reason that you and Madonna broke up? We all want to know. I don't think you'd have an answer for me. No, you're supposed to act like he already told you the answer and it's whatever answer in your head it is and repeat it. What? Come on, Mrs. Actress. No, maybe I should ask him a different question. Well, act like you're the reporter. Don't tell me it. So, Mr. Ritchie, are you seeing anyone now? I'm single. Was that good? Hello, Connie. Hello. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and we'll do something different. What we're going to do first is just pause. Alright, Connie. So what we're going to do is you're going to play a part for 60 seconds. And we actually bet, guys, that she cannot go 60 seconds staying in roll. So we'll see if she can. So she's going to perform a scene. Let's see if she can stay in roll for 60 seconds without messing up. I want my cookie. All right, so Connie, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and be seen right now. And the scene is is that you're in the middle of an earthquake with a hunky Latino man, 
and he's driving a big, big pickup truck, and you're running from the earthquake, but you get stopped and pulled over at a place where you have a little alone time with him, but you're still worried about the earthquake, and you go from there. Okay. It, it's so hard to method act what the scene was. <laughs> Oh, it was something about a hunky Latino and a middle in the middle of the earthquake. <coughs> okay, so when are you gonna start the time? What are you gonna act out? About being trapped in a truck with a hunky Latino, but the tremors have stopped, but I still feel scared. <coughs> Man. Let me start the time. If I can breathe. And the time starts now. Oh, earthquake tremor. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, Geraldo, I'm so glad you're here with me. You can make me feel safe from those tremors because, oh, they just scare me. So much. I just don't know if I can make it through those tremors. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, Geraldo. Oh. oh, Geraldo. I think I would feel much safer if I had my face buried in your lap. Do you mind? I mean, if another tremor comes, then I can feel safe. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Geraldo. Oh, I'm Geraldo. Oh. Oh, I'm not a tumor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Geraldo. I didn't mean to bite off your manhood. I'm so sorry. Let me get something to stop the bleeding. Give me a bandage. Help! 911. Hurry. Hurry. How's Geraldo? Where is Geraldo? I bit off his ember. so dirty so anyway if you like my hair today it is inspired by Olivia Newton-John from 1983 so if it looks like an 80's flashback it is They smell just like, no, you know what, they smell better than the bubble bath that I had last time. And these roses were not given to me. <laughs>